Hey, Adam. It's Darlene Vogel. Spike from Back to the Future 2. Hey. Thanks for booking this cameo. And I know what you're going to do. You're going to share it with all your great fans on Amblin Road, which I had the honor of doing an interview and to share all those with the fans. I want to thank you for that. It was a great interview. And I love hearing from all the fans. It's such a great experience. Who would have thought that 31 years ago I would have played this girl? There I am on my hoverboard. And then soon after, this girl on the ride. Yeah, that was me, Heather. And no, I was not related to Spike. I don't know where that came from. And met this awesome gang. There's Jason, Ricky, Biff, Griff, I should say, Tom Wilson, and me. Boy, did we have a great time on that set. I just want to give you a little backstory to you, which you probably already know, but the fans, but the day I walked into my agent's office and he said, hey, how young can you play? And I was like, I don't know. I was 25, six, seven at the time. I can't even remember. But I walked into the casting director's office and we just had a little talk. And then a couple months later, brought me back in with Ricky and Jason and we improvised a little bit. And then a couple months later, I'm on the set of this just blockbuster movie. And a two week job turned into two months. And it was just such an awesome experience to work with Michael, the sweetest guy on the planet. And in the cafe scene that took a month to shoot because in those days with the camera, it was a different camera, the Tundra camera, they had to set it up for hours. It was a new thing. And you know, the infamous line that I get to say, what's wrong with fly? You got no scrote. <laughs> and Michael had a ketchup bottle in his pants on the first take. I did not break character though, by the way, I did not. I was so fresh and new, I didn't know what to do, you know? Even Michael, everybody laughed, it was such a great day. And that's my infamous line, because that's all we got to do as part of our roles, one here and there. But the best part I have to say was flying around on the hoverboards. That was definitely a really fun experience for me. And who would have thought years later that we have kind of makeshift hoverboards, right? But I just want to say thank you and thank you to all the fans. Who would have thought these last few years that I've been meeting so many? I mean, we went to the reunion and I went to France and I got to meet so many people from around the world. And some of the shows that I do, it's just is mind boggling to me how brilliant. I mean, just the fans are just so brilliant. They just love this trilogy and it shows. and with all their heart and I love talking with them and meeting with them and sharing my story because who gets a story like this to tell, right? Of one of the iconic trilogies ever made. So anyway, I just wanna say thank you again. Thank you to Adam, thank you Amblin Road, thank you Back to the Future fans, thank you to the Back to the Future backers in France, I got my pin on. And um, thank you for booking it on Cameo so a lot of people can see this as well. And if you wanna have a shout out to any of your friends or family from Spike, I'd be happy to do that on Cameo. Thank you again, guys, and we will see you in the future.